Hello YouTubers, this is Cody the Dragon Samurai with another Blu-ray update. This time it's for March 14, 2016. So I got two Blu-rays as you can see over the past couple of days or whatever. Actually the last month in the last month. And I haven't showed them on my channel yet. So yeah, let's get started. First off, we have my first James Bond Blu-ray. And my first film in my collection for James Bond related material. Spectre 007. And Mom and I saw this on Blu-ray and to be honest, I thought it was an okay movie. I mean, it's entertaining. A good plot and all, but I don't know. Tell me what you guys think of this movie in the comments. And this is one of those movies that comes in a nice shiny slip cover. For those who know I'm Max Nation 1980, then you'd know how I would feel about the slip cover. And you know, some people think that the slip cover is disposable and it's just a piece of useless paper. That can be thrown away, but some people like, of course, IMAX Nation likes the slipcover because it adds to the overall package. And one of the best parts about this Blu-ray is that, as you can see, disc artwork. And the disc, you know, is just pretty much like the front cover. And there's that thing for the digital HD thing. I don't use that, so first come, first serve, I guess. So, yeah, that's Spectre. Let me get this back in the case very carefully. Yeah, Spectre 007. And finally, my second Blu ray for this update. A double feature set featuring Kill Bill Volumes 1 and 2. I seen the first one on the internet and I thought it was a really cool movie. And this film, this Blu-ray set has both films in it. And it is the first movie that I have in my collection to have the 18 plus 18A Canadian rating. I'm pretty sure that both of these movies are rated R in the States and Australia. And you know, other places. So, disc, funny enough, has both films on one disc. Besides the colors of the logos from the movie and some random stuff written on it, there's nothing much to write home about in terms of artwork. And this was from 2010. And since this is an early Blu-ray release, you can see that there's artwork inside the disc. And this is pretty much what you would get if you bought the French version of this set. So yeah, that's it for my Blu-ray update from for March 14th, 2016. So, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, favorite, and subscribe. Follow me on Google Plus, Meverse, and Daily Motion, and do what else you need to do. And for until then, this is Cody the Dragon Samurai saying sayonara, and have a good day.